James Coffin World News Report today. In breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, I have another object on Core 1, and it's very visible and unexplainable. This is GOES-19, our newest satellite, and I hope y'all can see this circular object right here. I'm going to kind of take y'all through it. First off, Core 1 is one of our most sophisticated instruments on our new GOES-19 satellite, and the sun is this actual little white loop inside this this cover. They put the cover on there in case of a large solar flare. They don't want the lens on core one and goes to burn up. I hope y'all can see this because this is going to get freaky. Okay. First off, here there's nothing going on. This is how, well, it, it should look like this. Let's get technical. Uh, and as whatever comes into motion or comes into play here, you can see it coming up on this side here. We can actually see the planet, the star, the... I don't know what it is. If I knew what it was, this is unbelievable. Unbelievable. You can't, you can't get this anywhere. Look at this. Uh... Core 1 regularly feeds every 15 minutes. They're allowing it to feed every 5 minutes, almost like they want us to be able to see whatever's going on here. Look at this. You can see that perfect circle here moving on the southern part of Core 1 goes 19. And y'all can see that it finally fades away there. Now watch, once it fades away, it looks like there's another planet or planetary object or lens flare that comes up right behind it here. Now remember, our sun is only as big as this little circle right here, this little white circle right here. So this is more than a shit show. And I guess I do realize we're still alive, but that's fine. This is unbelievable. So y'all can see there's a planet or something here. And then right before that, this is most definitely a planetary body moving across core one. And it can't be denied. This is absolutely unbelievable information. Y'all, please, please tell me what this possibly could be. Remember, the sun is 93 million miles away. And it's only as big as the little white circle here on the lens cover. The little white circle here. So this is much, much larger, whatever the heck it is. And we can see it going from normal core to a huge planetary or solar body. It could be so many different things. I'm guessing it's a uh, brown dwarf or some kind of burned out star because it's not visible. Could be in the infrared spectrum or ultraviolet spectrum. I, while we can't see it, except for with instruments like Core 1 here, you can see that it's actually moving across the bottom. And this should get worse. In other words, tomorrow we should see it even more so because it's gotten worse over the last few days. And I want to show you all, once it's out of the picture, there's also another what looks like another planetary body behind that one. This is going to be a shit show. And that's putting it sweet. Okay. God bless you guys. Don't say I didn't warn you. And I didn't show you. Because that's just what I did. Is it Planet X? Is it Nibiru? Is it Wormwood? 
is it? I don't know. A binary star? At this point, I'm more than flabbergasted. Again, y'all can see this body has mass here. You can see it passing over. Once out of the picture, you can see another planetary object behind that one. Please let me know your thoughts on this. Please share it far and wide. This is the real deal, okay? I'm not going to feed you all any bullshit. This is real, and I think everyone needs to see this. God bless. Share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro world.